Pay close attention, future monks. This little gem of a combo could save your lives, especially in PvP. Okay, first thing, drop three Healy Balls. Yeah, Healy Balls. Miss Weavers, this is really easy. It takes a few seconds for any other spec. Drop your Transcendence right on top of your Healy Balls. Move along. If within two minutes and 40 yards, or 50 if you're glyphed, you are hurting, you're in trouble, you're going to die, use your Transcendence Teleport back, and boom, fast, burst, easy, free, heals. Thank you very much. Emo, what you playing, man? I'm playing myself a mist weaver. Yeah. <laughs> man, e even the name sounds badass. It is full of badassery. Yes, the mist weaver monk. I have mastered the brewmaster. I am pretty damn good on a windwalker. And I thought, what the hell? Let's try a mist weaver. Now, I tried this before in early beta and I hated it. It was horrible. It sucked. I didn't like it, and I am a terrible, terrible healer. Yes, I admit it. I'm bad. I have not healed in any in any true semblance of the word in years. I did a few five mans in Wrath of the Lich King. If that gives you any idea, that's it. That's it. I, I've been a DPS or a tank for years. But uh, I'm having some serious fun on the Mistweaver. I've been healing for the last couple days. And uh, I'm getting better. I still suck. I, I am the first to admit it. But you know what? I'm going to go over uh, I'm gonna go over some theory. I'm not, I don't want you to watch my play and be like, Hey, man, he's the best. You need to follow exactly what he does. Don't do that. Because I don't always do the right thing. I'm still learning the Mistweaver spec. But I have done a ton of research over the last couple days, and I'm going to just instill that upon you in the best way that I can. You probably thought I was going to show you a wipe video, but I wasn't. Nope. I was just showing you a pally who, throughout this entire instance, decided he liked to stand in the yucky stuff, and he died. But whatever. We didn't need him. <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's talk about the Mistweaver. Mistweaver is a really fun spec, and I've said that a bunch of times, and I'm going to explain myself now. You may have heard, Melee Healer. It's true, they can Melee Heal. They're absolutely awesome. But, you have to watch because there's a serious issue with uh, getting a little too excited, especially if you've played DPS or tanks where you, you want to hit your buttons quickly. Um, you don't want to do that on a Mistweaver, because you're just going to run Oom um really, really fast. So you got to be careful, you got to find the balance, and uh, let's talk about that. Okay, you might think Disc Priests could do this sort of thing, but they weren't melee. They weren't punching people in the face. That's what makes this fun. Now, you can see all, look at all those heals. I'm going to explain how this works, and you may have already seen videos like this. I know there's a couple really good guides out there. And this isn't meant to be the end-all be-all guide. This is meant to give you my impressions of the spec and just give you a glimpse of how fun and exciting and different it actually is compared to what we're used to in World of Warcraft. Okay, a few things when you first go Mist Weaver. You become a healer who mixes traditional herbal medicines with Pandaren martial arts. Oh yes, very nice. Okay, so now you're a badass Mistweaver, and you get a few things with that. You get Stance of the Wise Serpent, it increases your healing done by 20%, it replaces your energy with mana, and it increases your attack power equal to 200% of your, of your spell power. Okay, the four main abilities you get, Soothing Mists. This is your channeled ability, and this is what it looks like. It's very cheap, very decent heal, and it generates one chi. You get Renewing Mist, this is your hot. Now this is neat because it bounces around to three of your nearest party members. The next thing you get is Surging Mist. This is your flash heal, basically. And if you're channeling your Soothing Mist while you cast this, it's an instant cast. Still costs a lot of mana, though. Now this is kind of an oh shit type ability where you can just spam it, but you're going to go oom um really, really quickly. Anyway, moving on. 
Okay, Uplift. This costs 2 Chi and it instantly heals everybody that has your Renewing Mists on them for 23k, non-crit. Beautiful ability, great for AoE healing, just, just nice. I like it a lot. Now there's an ability that affects Uplift, but I'm not going to get into that yet. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's keep going through some of these major skills that you're going to be using. Okay, Enveloping Mists. This is a big Chi cost. 3 Chi. 1.8 second cast. Now this is another one if you're casting, you're channeling Soothing Mists, it's an instant cast. Uh, this heals the target for 187,000 over 6 seconds. It is a huge dot. Uh, 30k a tick is what you're looking at. Unbuffed. So yeah, beautiful. Okay guys, here's a really major one. Summon Jade Serpent Statue. Now this costs 27,000 mana at level 90. And that is a lot. It's a 30 second cooldown. It has a 40 yard range. It does not pull aggro. So if you're going into a boss fight, you can just set this down on his face. And uh, that'll make sure everybody's in range. Okay. Some of the things it does. Okay. It lasts 15 minutes. And it causes eminence. And what that is, is when the monk deals non-auto attack damage. That is jab. That is tiger palm or blackout kick. It will heal the lowest target within 20 yards for 50% of the damage that you do. Very nice. Serpent's Accord is another thing that it does is when you cast Soothing Mist, the Jade Serpent will also cast Soothing Mist on an injured ally within 40 yards. Very, very nice. Basically doubling your healing. Life Cocoon, this is your major oh shit button, 2 minute cooldown, 40 yard range. It's single target. It's basically a giant shield that absorbs a ton of damage and increases your hot by 50% on the target, all hots. That brings us to Mana T. It is very, very cool. Basically, every time you go through 4 Chi, which happens often, you gain a stack of Mana T. You can use this in combat to restore 4% of your maximum mana per stack. It's channeled, so it's 1 second per 4%. And it basically stacks infinitely. Really neat ability. Uh, it's not going to top you off all the time but it's definitely very very helpful okay that takes us to revival the ultimate oh shit super heal button three minute cooldown 21,000 mana instant cast heals every player in your party or raid within your vision so on your screen for hundred and eighteen thousand it also removes any harmful magical poison or disease effects oh shit do you remember earlier when I said there's an ability that it, it changes uplift a little bit? Well, this is it. It's called Thunder Focus T. It's cost 1 Chi. It's a 45 second cooldown. You receive a jolt of energy, doubling the healing of, of your next surging miss. Or, if you use uplift, it refreshes the duration of your renewing miss on all targets. It lasts 30 seconds. Uh, very, very awesome little cooldown. Very, very helpful. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about before we get into 5 man heroic healing is teachings of the monastery now all monk specs have something similar to this where it changes abilities around for that certain spec this one is for the misweaver obviously and it requires serpent stance it makes your blackout kick cause serpent zeal basically it's a buff that stacks twice and it makes your auto attacks heal for fifty percent of the damage that you do beautiful surging miss when you tiger palm you gain vital mist basically it's a buff that stacks five times and it will make your next surging mist instant and free and then you have spinning crane kick and what this does is it heals all nearby party members inside your spinning crane kick if you're healing more than three or hitting more than three you're gonna gain a chi as well as you may have noticed we jumped right into heroic shadow pan monastery and this is a really fun instance this is just gonna be a little bit of it a tiny little piece you can see I have a Korean tank who is very very good but uh, anyway, healing on a Mistweaver is fun, and there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. You can stand back and you can heal from afar, which is what I'm doing right here. Or as I do on the first boss, I run in and I do a little melee. Now, you're not going to do a ton of damage as a healer. For even though you have 35,000 attack power, you just don't do a ton of damage. But um, you can still do 20k DPS pretty easily. Absolutely. So that's nice. And... 
it makes you feel good. It feels like you're doing something. Okay, so I can't stress this enough. I am a nub healer. I have not healed in literally years. Um, through vanilla, I healed. A little bit in BC, I healed. Since then, forget about it. You know, other than one or two random heroics, and usually a miserable fail, I just haven't done it. And it was never fun for me. I never liked healing. Now this, this video is meant to show you that the Mistweaver can be fun. It has potential to be fun. And it's something that I am very interested in learning more about. I'm very interested in playing and testing more. But uh, in its current state, it is a lot of fun. It feels good. It feels a little bit overpowered sometimes. Uh, even when I'm, you know, I am sucking it up. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. Enjoy the music. Zeet Mo Pie, and I'll see ya. This video is part of the Way Movement. Learn more at TGN.tv.